Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use a coolant pressure tester. And normally you would pressure test a coolant system if, for example, you notice coolant leaking from bottom of car. Or you notice coolant underneath the car when you come out to drive it. Or maybe the level keeps dropping and you keep having to top up your coolant in your expansion tank. So the first thing I did is undo the engine under tray and remove that. It's really easy to do, there's just a whole load of bolts that hold it on and you just have to get under there and undo them. Before I do anything else, I'm going to throw some clean cardboard underneath the car. This stuff's really good because when we pressure test the engine cooling system in a minute, wherever the leak is, it'll start dripping down onto here and we'll be able to work out where it's coming from. So here I've got a coolant pressure testing kit and as you can see, it has lots and lots of different adapters in it. And so the first thing you need to do is undo your coolant tank cap. Be careful if it's hot. If you've recently been driving the car and it's really hot, then it's recommended that you wait at least 30 minutes before undoing this cap. And then even when you do, just do it nice and slow. And the reason is this system becomes pressurized with up to 10 to 15 PSI. And uh, as you undo that cap, then hot water can come out and scald you. And please take this warning seriously because you really can get a bad burn from the steam. So the next thing to say is you have to do this test when you've got plenty of fluid in the system. So if you've lost a lot of coolant, then you'll need to top this up with some coolant or with some water. And if you're unsure what coolant is in your car or what coolant it should take, then this Prestone's a really good option because it's compatible with all coolants. Mine's about half full, so we're good to go. So now we need to find an adapter that's going to fit onto that coolant tank. And what we're looking for is something that looks similar to what the underneath of the cap looks. So let's have a look at our kit. So I've just had a bit of a scan through them. And I think that one looks pretty similar. So I'm going to give it a try. Ah yeah, that's feeling good. So I just need to get that on there nice and tight. And if your car's got a radiator with a cap on it, you can find a kit that has one of these adapters as well, so you can still do the coolant pressure test. Okay, so before we go any further, we need to know how much pressure to pump this up to, because if we overdo it, we can actually cause a problem in the system. And a lot of the time, it'll say on the cap somewhere what the pressure rating is for the system. And on this BMW, it doesn't, but the rule of thumb is that it's normally 10 to 15 PSI. So next up, I'm just going to get the uh, pump part out of the kit. And then this literally just clips onto that. It's got a little uh, quick release connection. So when you hear it snap in like that, then you know it's on and it's fine. Now, if you're not sure if you have a leak on your system or not, make sure you know exactly where your coolant level is. Because once you pump this up, if there is a leak, it'll start leaking. And of course, you can look underneath. But it's really helpful if you know where your level was. Because if you see that level drop, then of course it means you have a leak on the system somewhere. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pump this up. And you do, it's only a little pump, so you do have to go a bit. So as you can see, I got mine somewhere between 10 and 15 PSI. The pressure does drop a little bit on my tester because I think somewhere in the system, the air leaks out a little bit. But while it's pressurized, we can jump underneath the car and see if we see any water landing on that cardboard. If there is a leak, normally you would see it start dropping down onto this cardboard somewhere. And that would give you an idea where above you it's coming from. Okay, so that's how to use a coolant pressure tester to find a coolant leak on your car. Hopefully you liked the video, and if you did, then please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.